We're having a nice Friday evening. I wanted to vodcast the remaining equilibrium problems. These all are Ka and Kb problems. I'm going to do this in blue ink. Um, before we began, we um, identified this relationship as being very important. The pH plus the pOH is 14. Um, we also saw that the negative log of H plus brought us to pH and likewise the negative log of the OH minus brought us to OH and if we wanted the pOH or the OH it would be 10 to the negative pOH and if we wanted the H plus it would be 10 to the minus pH. So really, when you're doing these problems, our goal is to work with H plus and OH. Sometimes it's hidden. Um, for instance, if they give you the pH, you have to subtract 14 from it and then take the negative log to get the OH. Um, we'll do a couple problems like that and you'll see what I mean. So here we go. Problem number one. Always do ice first. Before you even begin the problem, always do ice. So I'm going to set up my ice table. NH3 aqueous, H2O liquid goes to NH4 positive aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. I, C, E, liquids do not count. And I can also write my KB expression, which is going to be OH minus multiplied by NH4 plus 1 all over NH3. I'm going to read the problem. Here I go. In a 0.018 molar NH3, that's initial NH3. That means that these are 0. That means we're shifting right. That means this is 0 0.0180. We can assume X was negligible on the reactant side. X, X. That's something that you can really always do to make your math easier in weak acid and weak base problems. So I'm going to go back and redefine KB as X squared over 0 0.0180. And now I'm going to continue reading the problem. They say... Um, that the hydroxide ion concentration is 5.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, well that's X. To the negative fourth, I apologize. And we have 0 0.0180. Okay, so we're well on our way. Determine the KB. So KB is going to be equal to 5.6 times 10 to the minus fourth squared divided by 0 0.0180. I'm going to let you guys finish the math on these calculations and you can come check in with me if you struggled with the math. KB does not have units. Calculate the value. Okay, so I'm going to reckon label this first. So, um, write the equilibrium expression. That's A. I'm determining the KB. Actually, I apologize. This is C, I'm going to install any Java updates. And let's get back to B. B says determine the pH. All right. Well, in order to determine the pH, we need to know the neg log of the H+. Plus. So let's go looking for H+. Plus. And H3 is not H+. Plus. H2O is not H+. Plus. That's not H+. Plus. Ooh, OH is not, but we can get there. We can actually calculate the pOH, which would be the negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the minus fourth. And 14 minus the pOH would equal the pH. So 14 minus the negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the minus fourth equals the pH. That's the answer to B. Moving on to D, it says calculate the value of the free energy change, delta G, 
Delta G could either be delta H minus T delta S. Delta G could either be negative N, F, E. Or delta G could be negative R, T, L, N, K. We're going to use this one because we are dealing with equilibrium. Delta G equals negative R, which is going to be 8.31. T, which is 298 Kelvin. They told me we were at 25 degrees Celsius, so I added 273 to that. I'm going to take the natural log, and I'm going to plug my KB expression in from right there to get it. I apologize, I'm not solving this, but we are going to get a delta G, which is greater than zero, which will be non spontaneous. This is a weak base problem. It's non-spontaneous. Okay, I'm going to move on to problem two, then we'll probably have to move to another vodcast. All right, this problem. Again, I'm on three response number one, so I'm going to set up an ice chart. Um, they didn't give me the reaction, so I got to actually write out the reaction. The weak acid breaks into H plus plus O B R minus. I apologize, I'm really tired, guys. If I sound not enthusiastic. So I'm going to do my ice chart and I'm going to write my Ka. Okay, now I'm going to read the question. Let's go to the top, see if I can fill it in. Hyperbromous acid is a weak acid. Okay, we know that because it's not on our list. Um, the Ka. So it's giving me the Ka is 2.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. All right, so we know we're going to be doing that square root, square root business to get the answer. All right, here we go. Write the ionization for um, A. Okay, there it is. That's the ionization reaction for HOBR. Calculate the H plus in a solution whose pH is 4.95. Okay, well pH equals the negative log of H plus. So H plus equals 10 to the minus pH, which equals 10 to the minus 4.95. Great. Got the answer. Now, this is how this problem initially, they didn't give us HOBR. We know that this is 0, and this is 0 always. We know that it's going to shift to the right. So we don't know this. We do now know H plus, which is 10 to the negative 4.95. We also know OBR minus, because they're both X. 10 to the negative 4.95. So we can continue the problem. I'm going to move on to this one on the next video. So take care, everybody. I'll see you in a sec.